everybody happy tuesday it's tuesday afternoon it is also currently week three of the becoming her challenge this will now be episode four i think and this week we're going to spend the week together Drew and i have had the most gorgeous start to the day today before i talk to you about that i wanted to talk to you a little bit about something that i shared on the facebook group yesterday so yesterday was monday it was obviously the start of week three and i woke up with every intention to have a really really great productive positive just a good monday for some reason when i got home i just had this like overwhelming anxious feeling i guess and obviously i've shared with you before that sometimes i get anxious from time to time um i was in therapy for quite a while just to learn to understand myself better and all of that stuff and I haven't been to therapy now for like eight months I think I would never like to say I don't go to therapy or I've stopped therapy or I'm out of therapy because I honestly think therapy is for everyone I think therapy is like the best thing you can possibly do for yourself like the best investment you can make to learn about yourself and understand yourself better love it would recommend it to anyone however i took a pause for like the last eight months because i'd been feeling really good and i felt like i had a really good understanding of how to you know understand myself and manage different feelings that come and go and all of that stuff but yesterday I, out of the blue it just hit me like a ton of bricks and i just suddenly felt so overwhelmed and i had that horrible anxious feeling where it's like in your stomach and you're like why am i feeling like this it's just it was just one of those days sometimes these things just happen don't they um but i was kind of trying to have a think about why it might have suddenly come on and i realized that actually it's been a really long time since i just like rested and i don't even mean physically rested i mean like mentally just had a break so that's what i did yesterday it may have been a monday i may have had all these plans but i honestly spent the entire afternoon in bed on my laptop watching movies i watched stuart little would 1000 percent recommend that for like pure nostalgia and just great vibes cups of tea chocolate buttons it was really a great time to be honest i don't remember the last time i just did nothing and didn't feel guilty about it so i just wanted to be honest about that because obviously we're doing this challenge together and i'm so proud of how everyone is doing but i just never want to give the impression that things are like perfect you know things are not perfect we all have our days and yesterday was definitely a day for me yeah off the back of yesterday i decided that this week for my doing something new i would bring myself away for the night just have like a super chilled if we will let us chill what is she doing but yeah just have like a super chilled um bit of time just for us um so we booked this little cabin which is in the woods this is like my dream a little cabin in the woods is just heaven to me cabin woods cozy yes please like honestly yes please i just think this is like what my soul needed kenny's gonna come and join us this evening when he's done with work but until then rue and i are just gonna chill we're gonna go get some lunch we're gonna do some reading and just make the most of being somewhere so peaceful and so lovely and so cozy and yeah aside from yesterday's wobble I've had the best couple of weeks, honestly, the best couple of weeks, like actually sticking to these habits that I know are so good for me has made the biggest, biggest difference. And honestly, I think yesterday was always coming. Like, I think that was always going to hit me one of the days just because of what the last few months have been like and yeah just other stuff that we've got going on but that is for another day because I want to get outside and I want to go and make the most of our time here. That's great thank you very much. Say hello.
gonna let Rue out onto the terrace. Go on then, go on then. There's a gate so she can't get anywhere which is great. Um, so we've got our little tea and coffee making station. We've got just a little kind of area to sit. This is my book that I've been reading this afternoon. I'm loving this so far um, and I think I mentioned this when I got the book but this is actually set where I went to school. This is our bed. We've got a little area. This is kind of Rue's area. This is the bed and everything they provide. They also gave her a toy but she's run off with it somewhere. Then little area for coats, robes, all of that stuff. Um, and then here is the bathroom but it's so lovely here and every single window all you can see is trees which is what I just absolutely love like this is what we get to wake up to oh I haven't even shown you the best bit um this bag this is a side note but this bag I am so obsessed with this brand July I think it's an Australian brand sent this to me and it's the most gorgeous color it's such nice quality like honestly such nice quality I can't even explain like everything just everything on it I love it so much I will link it in the description it's the perfect weekender kind of bag um but yeah the best bit hey do you want to give everyone a tour of the best bit do you want to okay um, yeah, we have this whole little roof terrace and like I said, the whole way around, all you can see is trees and this is like a tree house. So we're actually really high up. Like I don't know, there's no way to give you any scale, but you walk up all these steps to get here. And then this is where the golf buggy comes to kind of drop you off. Yeah, I think they do use this in the kitchen. Good evening, it's much later on now. Oh, we've got the whole little team here. Um, Kenny got here this afternoon. What time did you get here? I don't know, like five o'clock or so. Five ish, something like that. We've just been exploring, chilling, relaxing, went to go have a drink, looked around the hotel, played some board games and all of that stuff. And now Kenny and I are going to head up to the restaurant and get some dinner. It's really nice here. It is lovely. I booked this. It's like a little treat for Kenny, so he's the one getting spoiled this time. It's called Callow Wild Hive Callow Hall. Callow? Callow Hall. Callow Hall Wild Hive, something like that. No, it's in Derbyshire but it's really nice we would recommend and we need to go now and kenny's probably going to tell me off for making us late We're only are you ready later, are you okay are you ready um i was out the door <laughs> okay i'm gonna go to the gym in the morning because we went to go see the gym and everything when we were on a little walk with rue oh, um, and it's <laughs> what's that i don't know what that is Climb your pencil. oh right let's wrap it up so <laughs> Oh, you're cool. What's she doing? Right, Kenny, Take I've had 13. enough. Hello, baby. What's he on about? What's he on about? You're so cute. You're so cute. Okay, right. We better go get some dinner. We'll see you when we get there. This is like a plant-based polenta dish. And then I think Kenny got a mushroom lasagna, which I think will be really yummy. I don't know what that is on the top of your lasagna though. Do you know? Thank you. We got some chips. We got some grilled veggies, same as I had at lunch. Some potatoes again, same as I had at lunch, because they were really good. And then Kenny got a rocket salad as well.
was pouring with rain all night. Did you hear it? Good morning. Good morning. It's so rainy this morning. the rainiest night last night I could hear it all night on the cabin which I personally loved thought it was so cozy um, and we've woken up this morning to super super heavy rain but I think it is brightening up a bit now which is probably a good thing because I need to take Rue out on her morning walk although they do have wellies and umbrellas so either way will be good but I think I'm going to get changed and go and use the gym and then I'll meet Kenny for some breakfast and then I want to do a bit of reading there's like a really nice little like library room in the main house um, and I thought that would be a nice place to go and read my 10 pages for the morning and Kenny will read the paper and Rue can just chill because she's allowed um, in most places actually in the main house. This is like a pretty dog friendly place to stay which is really good. So that's the plan. Good morning. Why do you look like a little human? Right, I'm going to get changed and I'll see you at the gym.
spent most of my morning today reading this book. It's The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying by Marie Kondo. And obviously we're on this six week journey to becoming the best version of ourselves. And this book is all about how you can change your whole life by changing kind of like the space that you're in. So I feel like it's very relevant to becoming the best version of ourselves. So it's a really, really good book to read right now if you're doing the challenge. I will link it on my Amazon um, storefront. I don't know what you can see in the background, but this room is a big, big mess. Mm -hmm. Also, if you guys are looking at me thinking I look really tired, I've had this thing and I would love to know if anyone else um, knows what this is, has had this, knows how to get rid of it. But since we were in Australia, I keep getting these like really sore, like dry flare ups on my eyelids. So if anyone knows what that might be or what I should do about it, please let me know. So I haven't even done my hair today. I don't remember the last day I just left my hair natural. I always use heat on it like every single day and that can't be very good. So we're just leaving it. I broke my camera which was not fun and I spent the entire day trying to basically fix my camera I went to five different places in town they all basically said they couldn't do it and in the end long story short I came home and I fixed my own camera with a bread knife so I don't know what the moral of that story is but there's got to be something in that I just got changed albeit into a cream jumper I thought I need to take my white hoodie off but then I've chosen cream so I'm not sure what we've really achieved there but I'm really entering my housewife era with what I'm about to say, except I'm not a wife and I'm definitely not a housewife, but you get the vibe because I am about to prep a lasagna for dinner tonight because I've got a Pilates class later and I might go to the cinema on my own tonight, but I'll talk to you about that later. Um, so we're working with quite a small window for dinner and Kenny gets back from work so late these days. So I thought if I prep a lasagna now, then while I'm at Pilates, Kenny can just pop it in the oven and I've got lasagna when I get home from Pilates. Like what could possibly be better than that? And then I could still have time to get to the cinema too if I decide that I wanna do that. So that's what we're doing. I'm kind of gonna make this up a little bit as I go based on what ingredients we have. But if I can pull together any kind of recipe and if it works out well, I will try and put it in the description and I will show you the method as we go. So wish me luck, let's try this. up at Pilates and what's really gonna get me through today is knowing that we have that lasagna to get home to. You know I haven't really filmed this afternoon, the last thing that you've seen is me um, doing my lasagna because I have just been running around doing like 
honestly the least exciting chores around the house so I'm going to go get this workout done this is my third one of the week so I've done my three this week so I'm proud of that I could tick that off so let's go get it done Okay, Pilates is done. On a Friday, they do um, Pilates and then Prosecco, which I think is just the best idea in the whole world, but I'm always driving. For now, let's go home. Maybe I'll have like a glass of bread at home to make up for it, but let's go see how the lasagna worked out. Kenny is making some garlic bread, which we're gonna put in the grill. Moment of truth with the lasagna. Yum. It's good, maybe a bit dry on the top though. Maybe we should have added a bit more. Might be all right, might just be crunchy. So this is how dinner is looking. We've got courgette, we've got green beans, we've got corn, kale, and then this is our garlic bread. Then this is the lasagna. It's obviously a vegetable lasagna, so it won't have the same kind of like texture as a normal lasagna. Like there's no mince, it's all just veggies, but hopefully it's good. Also I put pasta on the bottom, which I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to do. Oh, it looks quite good. That looks quite good, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, I'm so happy with that. So yeah. it tastes nice. Okay, well, I wouldn't be so negative. I'm sure it will. That's not negative. I'm quite impressed with that. Um, Mrs. She's got her nose in my milk chocolate buttons. Kenny got me these ones. They're like the Tesco free from ones. They're a bit like, you know, some chocolate is more like sugar than chocolate. They're a bit that vibe. So I'm more of a Montezuma girl, but. I'm not saying no. So I will definitely write the lasagna recipe in the description. If I have not done it, I have just forgotten. So shout at me in the comments and I will put it there. Um, but I would recommend, I'll alter it a little bit with changes that I would do next time. Like for example, I would use two cans of chopped tomatoes. So there's like a bit more tomato sauce and like a bit more salt and just some bits. Anyway, I'm just waiting for Kenny to bring our cups of tea through. And then we're gonna watch, I think we're on episode four of Hijack. We are obsessed. I feel like everyone in the whole country, probably in the whole world has already seen it, but we are very behind, but we cannot turn up, it's so good. So I know it's been a bit of a weird one this week because obviously it was gonna be a weekly vlog, but then I started it on Tuesday and then on Thursday my camera was broken. So yeah, it's been a bit hit and miss. And I know we went on a trip as well, so it's not like a regular week in the life. But for my six week challenge girls, let me know how you're getting on. Next week I'll do more of like a challenge focused video. I kind of feel like if you're in the Facebook group, there is not gonna be an end to that. It's just like a lovely little community where we all have the same stuff. And also obviously at the end of the six week period, I will talk to you about the things that I'm going to definitely keep as part of my daily routine because there are a good few of those. Anyway, let me know how you're getting on with it. Have a wonderful week and I will catch up with you next Sunday. Bye guys.